Jesse Weber. It's almost time to kiss this class goodbye. But first, but first I want to talk a little bit about this class and their accomplishments because I really don't have to tell these parents and guardians what a terrific group of young men and women this is that will be leaving Pocahontas County High School. There's 83 of the seniors today that will be pronounced graduates shortly. And 20 of those were recognized as honor graduates. This year, we raised the bar when they became freshmen. We raised the bar for honor graduates to a 3.75 average. And so for 20 of them to make that is quite an accomplishment. That's 25% of the class that was recognized as honor graduates. And even, uh, even though we had raised the bar to 3.75. There were five seniors that made the ACT Top of the Mountain Award. And of course that award is uh, recognized for seniors that have at least a 3.5 GPA and an ACT composite score of 26. So that's another, uh, that's another good percentage of students that accomplished that. There were 17 seniors that made the Promise Scholarship uh, which means you had to score at least a 22 or higher on a composite score and no less than 20 in each academic area. And that was 21% of the class that got the Promise Scholarship. There's even some that's still taking the ACT in June, so there still might be one or two that might qualify for that when they take that test in June. There were 45 students that's enrolled in four-year colleges starting in August this year. 16 that's going to be going to two-year schools, community and technical schools. Three is going to further their training in the military. And there's 13 students that's entering the workforce and seven that are still undecided. What, what, what sure they're, they're not sure what they want to do yet. But that means that there's 64 of the 83 that's going to further their education this fall in colleges or technical schools. And that's 78% of this group. And that's a good, that's a good, that's a good big group. There's 37 of these seniors that have completed vocational concentrations, which means they've taken four courses in a concentration, and are certified by the state of West Virginia as to have employable skills. Another area that I'm very proud of is Pocahontas County High School has been able to obtain the average yearly progress each year. These students' test scores help with that. Uh, of course, average yearly progress, as you know, refers to the No Child Left Behind laws. And this past school year, these, these students' test scores helped uh, us to, again, make that feat. There was only 41 high schools out of 112 that accomplished that, and so Pocahontas County High School being one of them, I'm very proud of that fact, and these students should be proud of that fact also. As first 
when I told you to be, get involved in your activities, uh, there was a very large number that was involved in athletics at our athletic banquet the other night. I also told you to uh, broaden your horizons, and uh, but I did not say anything about climbing silos. Uh, I also did not say anything about basically a safety factor in climbing silos that are 30 years old that have uh, rusted uh, ladders on the silos. But you did get involved. And I'm very, I'm proud of that fact. You, you did get into a lot of different things, the foreign language festivals, the math competitions and athletics, and uh, band, uh, cheerleading. Uh, I'm very proud that you got into all those different activities. You helped put Pocahontas County High School uh, in good competition with the other schools in the state. Now we've had lots of meetings together and we've talked a lot about different things and I keep bringing up the fact that you need more than a high school diploma. And again, I'll tell you that same little story. You, it doesn't matter whether you get a degree in truck driving or you get a, a lawyer's degree or a doctor's degree, you need more certifications uh, than what you're receiving today. And, and education never stops. And especially if you want to continue, you can make it happen. So that's something that people can't take away from you, is getting those degrees and certifications. So I'm sure there'll be a large number that's going on, obviously, to college, but all of you need to continue to improve and get more certifications as much as possible. I also want to uh, tell you that uh, put forth your best effort, take advantage of any more opportunities that you possibly can. Uh, I encourage each of you again to continue your education as much as possible. Life is short. Enjoy each step of the way and strive to be fair and manage your time and show love and respect for others. Most of all, and I said again uh, last week, I want you to have fun. But be safe in having that fun. Be careful climbing high solids. I want to thank you for an excellent four years. I've enjoyed working with you. I wish you the best of luck, good health, much success and happiness. May your dreams come true. And now would you please stand Graduated class of 2013. And upon review of your coursework, each of you have fulfilled all the requirements prescribed by the West Virginia State Board of Education and the Pocahontas County Board of Education. As principal of Pocahontas County High School, I now confer upon you the title of graduate. Congratulations, you may now change your test.